there's just a lot of stuff that I see out there. Like, man, like in 2022, it feels like independent wrestling could be done better. And we're only doing some things because we've always done them this way and it's become the norm. And uh, you know, a perfect example of what I'm talking about is the, the pre-show meet and greet. I hate the pre-show meet and greet <laughs> because it kills all of this star value of whether the person is a star or not but, but after sitting at a table for an hour two hours collecting money selling pictures and their merchandise you know even if you have a diehard fan and they're the first one to come in they come right to your table they buy your merchandise now they go to their seat they sit there and they watch you for an hour or two hours just become a little less of a star and you're just a normal person. They see you on your phone and they see you eating or drinking. And now you're just a normal. And I think that's something that WWE teaches you is, and you know, people always make fun of, you know, you're a WWE superstar. You're not just a pro wrestler, you know, and, and that's for a reason because we are just normal people, but you want to be perceived as a superstar and something special. You know, there's no other form of entertainment that I can think of. Um, even if it's a D-list band who had a uh, had a one hit in the '80s, they don't do their meet, meet and greet before the show. They come out on stage, look like stars, and then they may do their meet and greet after. Um, same thing with comedians, you know, that they'll do their meet and greets after their performance. You know, yeah. when you everybody looks like a star um, after the performance, but this, you know, in independent wrestling, it's just everybody out there selling their stuff for an hour, two hours, and their 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 star value just dwindles away in that time, you know?